Hello everyone, it's Chris the Batman Statue Collector, your Dark Knight of Collecting, and today I want to show you the brand new items from Prime One Studio. This was revealed at their gallery opening, and I'm just really excited to bring these to you. So this first one, of course, we saw as a teaser almost a year ago, uh, right around spring break time, and now we finally get to see her. This is, of course, the one-third scale Poison Ivy. This is from Arkham City, and this is going to complete the collection. This is going to be the last in the series, and I am in love with this piece. I think it's very well done. I will add her to my collection for sure. Um, but again, she's one-third scale, and she will close out the Arkham line. Uh, do I wish that there would still be additional pieces? Yes. Um, but the fact that they kind of threw a bone to collectors to give this to us, I'm really excited and proud and happy that Prime One did that. They listened to the fans, and what an incredible statue. Um, so looks good with the sirens, of course. Uh, anyway, I just cannot wait to add her. So I definitely wanted to show her um, because ugh, I'm just... Happy she's here, finally. Uh, we also got another nice surprise. This is Zatanna, uh, Mistress of Magic, and this is, again, one-third scale. Look at this portrait, guys. Look how beautiful she is here. Absolutely stunning. I'm assuming that she'll have some switch outs as well, um, but just, oh, what a beautiful piece. Um, we saw her teased maybe three years ago, and we finally get her in hand here. Um, great backdrop, it looks phenomenal. Uh, some people haven't loved the rabbit, so maybe you could swap that rabbit in and out. I'm assuming you probably can, um, but look at the face portrait here. Just absolutely well sculpted, beautiful, um, and look at this. This is even really, this is even cooler, but look at the backdrop here. Look at the base. Um, it's like a full stage set up with the curtains. The curtains look to be fabric. Um, just a really, really pretty piece here. And I, I just, again, I, I don't know who sculpted this one, but I have to tip my hat to the sculptor that really captured that face. Um, if you're a fan of her, this is a no-brainer. Uh, definitely going to get her. I probably won't add her to my collection just because I don't collect the good guys, but man, I wish I, I, wish I did. Um, and then the last piece that we saw revealed was, of course, the long-anticipated, uh, I really didn't think that they would still do this piece, but it is the one-half scale Dark Knight Bale Batman uh, to go along with that Ledger Joker, and I think this is phenomenal. I think the one-third scale piece is good, but this blows it out of the water in my eyes. I think it's incredibly well executed and you know, definitely captures Bale. Looks like you can uh, switch the way the head looks, maybe multiple swap outs. Very similar probably to that one-third scale piece, but again, I do feel like they really improved on it uh, with this particular one. A really excellent job. Um, I will be giving you guys a, a better preview of the uh, Poison Ivy piece. I'll do a full preview of her uh, as photos are out of her now, so I will have that up within the next day or so. Um, but I just wanted to give you a quick preview of the things that we saw. Again, these are all photos from our good friend John Pham uh, and some other people that have uh, been to the store uh, as of today. Um, just really great pieces. I'm excited about all three. Let me know in the comments down below which piece you like. Uh, are you planning on picking up any of these? Um, I'm just really excited about all three. I think they're all really great, and I love that they're doing some more DC pieces. Uh, just excited. You guys know that. So anyway, thank you guys so very much for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, I'll see you in the Batcave.